Hey Flow Family, welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Joe Murdoch, AKA Flow Joe. If you're not new here, welcome, welcome back. First, thank you so much to everyone who entered the giveaway. I appreciate your engagement. I appreciate your showing up. I appreciate you rocking with me. So I just wanted to name that before we start moving. We're taking about 20 minutes to get into our body in a nice and slow way, all right? So for all of my folks who like to move fast, I know this might not be the most exciting class for you, but I can guarantee and I feel confident in saying that there is always a time to slow down and slowing down is for everyone. So you might not wanna do the class now, but bookmark it because there will be a moment when this will serve you, okay? We're moving slow. We're using our breath. We're taking some time to just be in the body instead of asking the body to be a certain way. Make sense? So we're starting on the mat. Get into your comfortable clothes. Get into your space. And I'll see you in just a little bit. We'll get right into it. Alrighty, my loves, we're starting on our backs. So, ooh, lay flat. <clears throat> Make sure you have yoga mat behind you. And we'll start with the knees in towards the chest. Arms will wrap around, shoulders relax and falling down to the yoga mat. And do what you need, adjust your head so that feels good. You can rock your hips side to side as well. You don't have to get here and just be. You can move, you can wiggle, you can adjust. <sighs> Taking a few moments to be just like this. Time to exist in very familiar shapes without the urgency of what comes next what I have to do next. Who do I have to call, text, or email next? Okay. Use your exhales to help you settle in, tap in. Wherever you are, take one more inhale, one more exhale. Hmm. Okay. If eyes were closed, go ahead and open them. Keep your legs as they are. Reach your arms out left and right. And if you don't have enough space for that, you can cactus your elbows, well, your arms by bending your elbows. Both knees will fall over to the left double supine twist. And before you start to force and twist and do all this extra work, arrive at the shape and then let the expectations go. Just lay here. All I care about is you breathing, you existing. One more breath. Okay, let's take it to the other side. Right leg peels up and over, left leg follows. Take your double supine twist, other side. Okay, when you arrive, just let it go. Be in the shape, honoring how the body wants to show up today. You don't have to be anything but present. Mm. 
Okay. Next breath in, we come back up and over left leg and then the right leg follows. Meet right in the middle for happy baby. Both arms reach to the inside of your legs, but they grab for the outsides of your feet. So your pinky toe side edge. See if you can expand and extend the back of the kneecap. So the bottom of the feet, look at the ceiling. Take your happy baby, any variation that works. So if feet do not feel good or you know overstretched, you can bring your hands to your ankles. You can bring your hands to the backs of your thighs. <clears throat> maybe you rock, maybe you stay. Maybe you keep extending the back of the legs, one and then the other. Mm. It's very rare that I get to slow down. And if that's true for you, I'm really excited for you to be taking this class and taking your time. Ooh, taking your time. Another breath in and out for happy baby. Hmm. Exhale, release your feet, your happy baby. Bring them to the yoga mat. They're gonna be as wide as the yoga mat and toes are gonna to point to the right and the left, about 10 degrees, looking at 10 o'clock and two o'clock. Hands come down by your side body, palms are on the mat or the ground. Walk your shoulder blades together and lift your hips for bridge pose, okay? In bridge pose, you can rock into the right foot and the left foot a little bit, alternating. You can think about lifting your hips up a centimeter to pulse, squeeze your glutes to help assist with that. You can also find stillness in opening up through the front of your hips and bringing some energy and power to your legs and your glutes. Friends, take a breath in if you're holding it. Take a breath out, let it go. <sighs> Slowly lower your hips and then roll to your right side. Ooh, press yourself up and come to meet me in a comfortable seat. So you'll find your glutes and then open your legs to a straddle. This straddle is not meant for us to find a split. It's not meant for us to do the most, okay? If you can sit up tall, you can breathe and you're not rounding, awesome. You are in a straddle that you can sustain. If any of those things are happening in your body right now, walk your legs a little closer together, okay? We don't need the split. We need you to breathe. We need you to be present. When you find that straddle, right hand, right shin or knee, left arm takes a big circle up and around for a side stretch. Now you can bend your right arm to get a little deeper in that side stretch, or you can keep it long to support you if it feels like it's too deep or too intense, okay? Maybe look up at the ceiling or the sky if you're practicing outside. Come back up, staying on this side, take a twist. Left arm circles across the body. Bring your left hand to your right kneecap or right thigh. Right hand behind you for support as you twist and look behind you. Your feet, okay, your ankles, they're flexed. So toes are pointing up to the ceiling. Think about lifting your low belly and sitting up a little bit taller. Full breath in and out. Releasing your twist, you wanna stop looking right at that right leg, so don't come back to center. Take your hands, start to walk your torso over your right leg, forward fold any amount. I like to bend my elbows and bring them down to the ground to support me. Again, if that's not available, right, it's just that's a deep stretch and you're not interested in that right now, stay on your hands, all good. Keep those ankles flexed for me. The one thing I will ask is no matter where you are, the variation, bring your chin to chest. Hmm. 
Remember it's ease. Remember it's slow. It's molasses. It's honey. Breath in. Breath out. Beautiful. Coming up. Walking it back, back, back. Finding center. Okay. Other side. Left hand. Shin, knee, or thigh. Okay? Wherever it feels good. Right arm, big sweep up and over. Side stretch. Ooh. Twisting so we can look up and out. Hmm. You're still moving. The fingertips might be trying to find another inch. Maybe just a centimeter. Ooh, come up. All right. Circle across the body. Right hand to your knee or thigh. Left hand behind you for support. Sit up tall. Engage low belly. Find your twist. Hmm. Nice, releasing that twist. Stay right there on that left leg. Hands come down on either side. Slowly walk it forward to a fold. Maybe hands, maybe forearms. Either way, chin to chest. Good, next breath in, we'll lift the face. And press up and out to walk it back in, walk it back in, walk it back in. Okay. Lean back, both hands come behind you. Bend your right, bend your left. Your legs are wide, almost like that bridge pose from earlier, but we're not laying down. Drop both knees to the right. Ooh, that feels good. Drop both knees to the left. Alternating side to side. Good, one more breath in, right. And breath out to the left. Okay, pressing yourself up and off of your hands, swing both legs behind you. Meet me on your hands and your knees for tabletop position, okay? I'm turning long ways on my mat. You're good, stay exactly as you are. Once you find hands and knees, hands like starfish, so if the fingers are touching, open them right under your shoulders, knees under your hips. We'll tuck the toes for stability and send the right leg out to the right side and look to see that it's in line with your hip. So right hip, right knee, right ankle. Sometimes we think the leg is off to the side, but it's really behind us. So look at it, check it, bring it out to the side, okay? Inhale, lift your right arm up, take a big twist. Exhale, thread. So we're reaching to the opposite side of the mat or the room. We're not bringing the shoulder down to touch though. Left hand is supporting you. Back up, maybe lean, axing for more space, and twist. Again, reach under. Two more times, reaching up and out. Good, last one, take it up. Take it out and we stay this time, offering to come down to your elbow or your shoulder. We stay for five, inner thigh on the right, stretching nice and deep, four, three, two, and one. Left hand presses you up and off of your elbow or your shoulder. Just take a reach one more time to find that counter stretch. Right hand comes down, lift your right toes off the ground, slide your heel a little closer to your body, and then bend your knee. So now we're moving into these open side lunges, and then back to center. Open out. Back to center. You might get a couple of pops, all good. Two more. And out, good. Last one, stay. Hold it, five, mm. four, 
three, lift your chest, two, and one. Y'all, come back to center. Ooh. Right leg comes down, knee to mat, tuck your toes. You can move your hips, wag your tail. Head circles, hip circles. Okay, other side. Left leg goes out. Check to see hip, knee, ankle on the side of you, not behind you. Toes to the mat, pinky toe as well. Big toe, pinky toe. Let's get it. Left arm reaches up, take a second, find space in the body, maybe lean back. Beautiful, thread your needle, reach under. Again, we're not gonna touch the mat, not yet. Just reach, actively reach. Take it back up. Maybe now lean back more, you decide. And reach. Ooh. Two more. <sighs> yeah, last one, take it up. And hold it down, maybe on your forearm, listen to your body, nothing to prove, move slow, move with ease, or shoulder. We stay and we breathe. Last breath in and out. Okay, right hand, press yourself up and out. Find that counter stretch one more time. Okay, left hand down. Turn left toes up, slide your heel in just a little bit. You wanna make sure you have enough space to do this. Then bend, rocking into that left side lunge. Oh. Nice, coming back. Ooh, three more. Mm. Okay, so you're rolling onto the inside of the other kneecap, all right? So if that's what's happening, you're doing it right. Two left. So good. <laughs> Last one. Take it out. Stay here. Holding that, you've got five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly pressing up and out. Gather your left leg back to your center for hands and knees tabletop. Then walk your legs together to touch come to sit on your shins. If this is extremely uncomfortable, it's just not your favorite way to uh, be seated, change it. You can swing the legs around, sit on your bum. Palms are gonna face up on your thighs no matter the variation of your legs. Roll the shoulders up to your ears, pull them back, slide them down. We'll take a breath in to fill the belly, the lungs, the chest. And the exhale will be slow. Letting it out. Do that again. Inhale with a long, slow exhale. And when we breathe like that, we activate our parasympathetic nervous system. A longer exhale tells your body that it's okay to soften. It tells your body that it's okay to rest and enter into ease. So one more time. Inhale, take a long, slow exhale. Feel free to stay here or transition to lay onto your back, to rest a little longer, to slow down a little longer. But I'll seal our practice here together. Thank you so much for breathing. Thank you so much for moving. Thank you so much for taking your time. My name is Joe Murdoch. I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy this time. Try not to rush up and out and off but instead stay and let it marinate a little bit more.
And so it is.